All right, Shalom, Akim Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, uh, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Uh, the title of this lesson is, is really going to be a lamb back off of uh, the lesson from uh, from Tuesday that the uh, brother Kawan and myself did. Okay. Uh, the title of this one's going to be, uh, we don't have much longer here because, you know, with, uh, 2020, all of the prophecy that's been fulfilled, excuse me, this being, yeah, this, this, this taking place, um, you can tell that the most high is speeding things up as far as getting us, getting us up out of here, man. Okay. Like the scripture says in uh, Matthew, we bring it out. seems like we bring it out every <laughs> Every time we get the chance, uh, it says Matthew twenty four and seven: For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is how we know that uh, the coronavirus and the uh, the uh, financial crisis that, that that's going on right now in America that's been going on. Uh, ever since, I mean, it's really, it's really been, it's, it's, it was set up to fail, you know, it was, it was set up to fail. Um, <clears throat> my, that's actually a whole nother separate lesson. Okay. But anyway, uh, like I said, we're seeing the, we're seeing these, uh, these, these prophecies really popping here in 2020, man. When you just analyze the situation, this is uh September that we're in. So we're, you know, we're 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 more we're mostly out of out of the uh out of this year and so uh we don't have much longer here in america man okay we're waiting for the day where yahweh shai uh calls up up calls us up out of this place man like it's written in uh revelation okay revelation chapter 11 Hold on, let me see. Yeah. Revelation 11 and 12. Let me see here. Yeah. Actually, I'll start at verse 11. Revelation 11 and 11, it says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of, the, of life from the Most High entered into them. Talking about the uh, the uh, the two prophets, okay, which represent... Uh, uh, the uh, the northern and southern kingdom or Moses and Elijah, the law and the prophets, okay? Ultimately, Israel, at the end of the day, it says, after three days and a half, which is 350 years, which is the spirit, because I just watched a video on this that the, uh, that the brother uh, 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 Mike Isla from the L.A. camp had done, <laughs> you know? And uh, here I am pulling the scripture up. But here it says, after three days and a half, man, which is like he went into between the time period of the 1620s uh, to about uh, uh, 1970s, which represents that three days and a half represents the 350 years. Okay, that was the time period where we were without the spirit, without the name, without our culture, you know, because prior to where the Israelites, which we are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, Prior to Edom, to Esau's, you know, just complete overthrow uh, of us in these, you know, so-called uh, modern times, we we understood who we were, man. Okay, there's proof in that in the, the in the Indians, so-called Indians or Native Americans, indigenous people here, how they wore fringes on their clothing, they 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 called them the name Yahweh. They uh the Lost Lunar Stones has the the uh the Paleo Hebrew writings on it. Okay. The 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 name of the of 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 the uh, of the tribe of Gad fulfills prophecy of the troop overcoming him, which he was overcome by the self proclaimed white man when Esau, the self proclaimed white man, came over here to America. Okay? So we, we you know we, we see we see proof of these things, man. You know these Jakes is talking about the uh, the, the 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 twelve tribes. Uh, what did it say? Uh, are all Negroes? That doesn't make any damn sense, man. 
So you telling me Issachar and Zebulun and Asher are the are the Negroes? Well, so so who are the so who are the uh, the Native Americans, man? Who are the uh, the the uh, the Latinos, man? So called Latinos. You trying to tell me those ain't those aren't Israelites? Well, what other nation uh, are they, man? They've been oppressed just like us. So so you know let, it, let <laughs> let's not take that away, man. From our from from uh, the scriptures, man. The scriptures. The scriptures cut everything all the scoffers are saying, man. You know? Like I talk about in 2 Peter, the third chapter. And I, here I am. Got a handful of scriptures, the leftover scriptures from the lesson I, you know, that we put together on Tuesday. And I haven't brought any of them out, man. Because the Spirit is speaking, man. Okay? Uh, let me see here. 2 uh, Peter, chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. scoffers man it says strong's g1703 uh impecates impecates i could be pronouncing it a little off but that's how you that's you know a mocker or a scoffer man a derider by implication a false teacher, somebody who come in with some information that's bull, that's bull corn, like their brother Yarala says, man. Okay? False. False, man. They fakers, man. False teachers. Let's see if that's a, if that's a term, a false teacher. You know? False prophets. Oh, what was the reward of the uh, of the prophet in Jeremiah? See, we, we go into Jeremiah 28. You know what I'm saying? We go into Jeremiah 28 often. Okay? Jeremiah 28 and 8. But but if you read the whole chapter, where that prophet Hananiah prophesied of the, uh, the uh, what does it say? The um, prosperity of our people. Jeremiah, <laughs> he really cursed him out, you know? Look, Jeremiah 28 and 9. It says... The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when well, the word of you, of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh hath truly hath uh, truly sent sent him. Which we're in the times of Jeremiah, man. Okay, during the times of Jeremiah, the kingdom of 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 Judea, if you will, was under attack, man. By by uh by the uh uh, uh the the um the Babylonians. <clears throat> okay and they were about to be overthrown man the two-thirds of our people are about to be overthrown through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai due to their negligence of uh the uh of of his word man okay now look you got Hananiah the prophet um let me see here I want to get the part where he there we go uh, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 15 Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet Hear now Hananiah The Lord Yahweh hath not sent thee But thou makest this people to trust in a lie See that's a false teacher right there man So going back to First uh, Peter And what was the result of that? He, he got <laughs> Verse 17 Hananiah So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month Which we're in the seventh month right now man we're in the Feast of Trumpets. Um, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. Feast of Tabernacles. Salakia. Feast of Tabernacles, man. You know, so, we, so we're getting back into our heritage. We're, you know, of course, we continually do it, but we continuously remind ourselves, man, you know, that, we, that this is the Lord's time, man. Okay? Like the brothers bring out in Job. All the same scriptures we keep bringing out. Uh, uh, let me see. Job, let me see. Job 14 <laughs> and 5. So proclaimed white man's time is is set. And it's not going to be extended. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are numbered. Excuse me. Are determined. Let's see, let's, let's see, let's see what that word determined means, man. Determined. Charataza. Charataza. If I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Charataza. It says. Uh, let me see. Decisive, decided, determined. 
trying to get the wound figuratively to alert to decide. So figuratively, it means to 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 uh, to to decide, man. So they're they're determined, they're decided. We see if it mentions it. We see, there's a lot of implications. To decide, okay, here we go in the third third par- uh, paragraph. This word is also figuratively used to decide, determine. Um, let me see here. Seeing that it's day, okay, it quoted it right here. Job 14 to 5. Um, yeah, it says, Chara uh, Watazayim. Okay, it's decided. You know, plural version of Chara uh, Seeing that his days are determined. Okay. Also, you got, ooh, Isaiah 10, 10 and 22. Let's see. Let's see what that. Uh, let's see what that got. Hold on. Let me let me finish this first. Uh, Job fourteen and five. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So the Lord has prepared a set amount of days or years or however you want to look at it uh, until until this man goes down, man. And we know that he's approaching uh, his last days, man. We're in the last days. Scriptures say it. Okay. Let me see here. You got Isaiah 10 and 22. This is what it said. This is what it quoted. It says, For for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption dec- decreed shall uh, uh, overflow with righteousness. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that one's going into. But well, as far as the word, I don't know where the word is. Um, oh, maybe decreed. Okay. Yeah, decreed. You know. Which we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna be as the sand of the sea, man. We're looking forward to this, man. Two thirds of Jake aren't looking forward to being numerous, you know, outnumbering, the, you know, these other nations, man. Which we, you know, we outnumber them, you know what I mean? We we are uh, a very fruitful people. However, we're just we you know we we scattered. Through, I mean, if we scatter, man, there's no we, there's no strength in us, man. You know, we're as divided, you know. Like we're literally like we're all throughout, we're all throughout the, uh, the the world, man, and we don't have our own sovereign country. We're not our people aren't in the right mind to be able to, you know, return to the Lord, man. It says, "Yeah, a remnant of them shall return." That's that elect, you know. Let me see here. So, but you know, that's this is kind of just a, a pre. I mean, a, a the same word that word decreed, you know. Determined, decided. Now let's get to the scriptures that we actually had written down, okay? In uh, in in, in uh, Romans thirteen and ten, you know these are all. Excuse me, thirteen and eleven. These are all staple scriptures, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, shoot. Since I quoted ten, let's just restart at verse ten. Romans thirteen and ten. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Okay. And neighbor is not your next door neighbor. It's not, you know, you know, he might be an Indian or you might have a, a, a an Asian neighbor. So you, you know, so 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 you read the scripture, you know, in Amos that talks about the destruction of uh of, of Moab, you know, or 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 uh, what is that in uh, Second Ezra's Second Ezra's the uh, the fifteenth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. That goes into the destruction of Moab, and you might say, "Well, damn, you know, well, well, this scripture right here, love worketh no ill to his neighbor," you know, you know, so that means that that the mother scriptures talk about the the the, the destruction of these other countries. That must be out of out of the contact. I mean, out of the uh, out of the picture, you know. But that's an erroneous way to think. That's a that's an error, you know, error. You thinking an error if you thinking like that. Okay, because you don't, all you got to do is go into the word neighbor. Okay. Plazion. Plazion. Strong G4139. It says. Okay, here we go. Any other person and where two are concerned, the other fellow man. Thy thy neighbor, uh, thy fellow man, according to the Jews, which are the Israelites, any member of Hebrew nation, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth. 
okay? And now this, now this bull, bull crap right here is C. You know, the, you know, and of course, they had to add their own poison in there, according to Christ. Any other man, irrespective of nation or religion, no, that's some bull. That's some that's some super bull right there, man. Okay, this this word is is going in that na that word neighbor is always meant according to the Jews right here, according to so Yahweh Shai. Bro, he said he had come for but for the the uh, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. So what in the, where you get this where you get this crap from? Nowhere, you know. You pull it out of your behind. Well, that well actually we know where they got it from. They got it from the Council of Nicaea, uh, uh, back in uh, what is that the thirteen thirteen hundreds, with Constantine over there in uh, Constantinople, Constantine the Great or whatever his name was, you know, the the the, the founding, the founding father of Christianity. But let me go back to the scripture here, okay. Uh, all right, so so that was that verse ten. So verse eleven. Here's the point, and that knowing the time. That now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So stop hating your uh, uh your, your brother, man. Your your um like the word neighbor. We go back to it. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying stop hating your 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 uh the members of the Hebrew nation and Commonwealth that are you know that are sincere, man. Because you got brothers that's in the that's in the uh, uh in the truth that are um of the you know. <laughs> the northern kingdom man you know what we call the northern tribes or the the, the so-called uh latinos and native americans man and them brothers are, are 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 beautiful man you know shoot uh uh apostle um uh orion lob i believe he's a uh of lat of latino descent or latin descent man so you're gonna tell you're gonna tell me that he's not a <laughs> he's not an israelite because he's not a, a, a so-called Negro, you know? What kind of madness is that, man? Okay? So we show all the brothers. That's the beautiful thing about this truth. It unites our people, man. That's the, that and bump that Wakanda madness and all this other madness. The, 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 the common denominator between the, uh, what our people need to do, or excuse me, what our, what, between our, our people that are united in the right spirit is uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So it says, verse 11, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay? The night is far spent, man. You know how you get, you how you in a party or you, you know, in an outing or whatever. I don't even want to say party, but you know, you you know, you you may be at a bar or whatever, and then it's 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 the bars out here close at two o'clock, so you know if it's one forty-five, you know they got the last call, and they shutting it at, and they shutting it down, man, at two. So the night is far spent. So if you're gonna make your move, you need to. Be, I mean, it's really already over. You know what I'm saying? It's finna be it's finna be a couple more minutes and then that's it. You know? And then once it's over, man, there's no going back, man. There's no going back. Okay? So we don't have <clears throat> much longer here, man, in this place. The Lord is very capable of commencing uh World War Three. <clears throat> okay. Implementing this chip. That's all we gotta wait for. He's already ready coming with the vaccines. Okay, now the vaccine is not the mark of the beast, but if there's a chip in there, then yeah, that <laughs> if you put a chip in your vaccine, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what you're taking, man. You getting a chip. You see? So that's the point, man. The night is far spent and the day is at hand, man. So let's cast off this 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 bull crap distraction bs demonic energy that's lingering around <clears throat> you know in different areas of our lives and let us put on the armor of light man okay and that armor of light is this truth to keep us out of the darkness okay and then you know you got the whole you got you got whole whole other uh, uh beautiful points in this 
But I want to get that, and then uh, I'll get the Hebrews, you know what I'm saying, because I'm really just trying to get to the points. Hebrews chapter 10 and 25. Okay. It says, uh, let me see, verse 24, verse 23. It says, Hebrews 10 and 23, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Get that word, wavering. You got to love looking up words. It's, you know. Uh, wavering Strong's G, one eighty six, a a cle let me see a cleanace, a cleanace. It says, uh, firm, unmoved, not inclining, without wavering. Without leaning. Just only used once, but you know what I'm saying. Unmoving, man. Okay? So it says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering or without moving. Okay? For he is faithful that promise. What's that scripture talk about? Unmovable. Unmovable. I might be spelling it wrong. Or immovable or something. I might be spelling it wrong. But anyway, uh, it says in verse 24, it says, let us consider to pro uh, uh, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. OK, that's why we continuously are uh, encouraging one another to continue to uh, to do the work, man. You know, what I'm saying and, and do lessons and come out and preach. You know, continue, continually, um, you know, do the sit downs and things like that. Dang, I thought this was a, uh, shoot, I might be tripping. But, um, yeah, man, the Lord wants us to continuously, uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, empower each other, man, you know? So it says, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. See, we're not being absent from the flame, but we are what? Exhorting one another. <laughs> it's funny it said, as the manner of some is. You got, uh, you know, seasonal uh, Israelite camps. You know what I mean? Just like how you have a, a seasonal a seasonal uh you know you got ice cream during the during the summertime you know during the winter you don't really you don't really sell too much ice cream like that now you know you got different other uh you know year long companies that may sell it okay but most of the time you get if you know for popsicles stuff like that you're not going to eat that you know in 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 November and in February <laughs> cuz it's cold outside but you know Come 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 summertime. That's when that's when that's when you can find them. Okay. Well, you got the manner of some to uh, uh, to uh, forsaking the, the the manner of some is to forsake the assembly uh, together, man. You know, which is an unholy thing. Okay. It says, but exhorting one another, as so much the more, excuse me, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Some people don't, but we do. We do see the day approaching, man. That's why we do. That's why we're doing this work. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to find that scripture. There we go, man. I'm see they got me over here thinking I'm First Corinthians uh, uh, fifteen. You know, I had to Google that bad boy. First Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. It says, therefore, my brethren, uh, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. See, because uh, that word unmovable, it reminded me, uh, or excuse me, what was that word? Uh, not wavering. It reminded me of, of the, you know, this scripture here. I just, you know, it's having some issues finding it. Okay. Now I'm going to get that word unmovable in the Greek. Where we go. Steadfast. Uh, unmovable. Okay. Strong G. 
277. I uh I made uh I Takinatos. I probably butchered it a little bit, but you know. Not to be moved from its place. Metaphorically, firmly persistent. Hmm. Firmly persistent. Okay. It says, therefore, my brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, or firmly persistent, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. We got to believe that, man. You know, there's so many scriptures that we read all the time and, you know, we, we brought them out, brought it out, you know, 700 times. But we need scriptures like this to remind us, man, every day sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is a grind that is not going to stop until the Lord comes back. But every day we push through, that's one day closer to the kingdom, man. And these scriptures rejuvenate us, man. Like the scripture says, spirit is renewed day by day. I believe it's in Philippians. Uh, excuse me, Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. For which cause, matter of fact, yeah, I'll just give a point. For which cause we faint not, which is the cause of salvation. The, uh, but though our outward man perish, meaning we age, we get older, we get sick, you know, we catch in, uh, infirmities. It says, though our outward man perish, our carnal body, our flesh, is, is suffering damage. Okay, the longer we stay here, the more detriment to, to our body we, we, uh, we experience. Okay, it says, it says, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Our inward man, which is the spirit, is strengthened, man, and it's truth. Okay? It's, 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 it's. It's, it's made stronger, man. Okay? I'm going to get this uh, in Philippians 4 or 5, and then I'm going to close out. This is Philippians, the fourth chapter, in the fifth, fifth verse. It says, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. I'm going to get that word moderation. Okay? Strong's G, 1933. Equitable, fair. Mild, gentle, suitable, patience, you know, appropriateness. We're supposed to be examples unto the nations, man. Okay? Not just our people, but the nation. That's what the Lord's intent was for when he gave us the, uh, the law. Okay? But chiefly our people because those are the ones that need to be corrected anyway. The most, first and foremost. Why? Because the Lord is at hand, man. He's watching as angels are watching, you know, and he sees, he knows our infirmities, man. You know, he knows, he knows the things that we're going through. He knows more than anyone because he created the situation. So who better to go to, uh, to go to, you know, for, for assistance, you know, for strength, whatever we need, man. You know, the Lord is, is puts us through strenuous situations at certain times to test our integrity and our faith, and we have to pass the test every time, man. You know, to the best of our ability. But anyway, uh, you know, that you know, pretty much sums up the lesson. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. Once again, we do not have much longer. Those are encouraging words, brothers. Encouraging words. We don't have much longer in this place. Okay. Like Morpheus said in uh, in 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 uh, in uh, the Matrix uh, Revolutions. You know, after after the war, <laughs> you know, it, you, you're screaming it. You know, it's over. The war is over. Zion was was cheering. You know, we're looking forward to that day, man. We're looking forward to that day. So, Lord willing, this is edifying with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.